An unexpected, or shall we call it an unscripted moment uh, that happened today at the President's Rose Garden ceremony earlier this morning because one of the people, you see all those people standing by the President, there was a woman actually directly behind the President as he was talking uh, about Obamacare today. She came mighty close to fainting and the President actually had to stop his remarks just to make sure she was okay. The one illness. There you go, you're okay. I'm right here. I got you. Yeah, yeah. No, no, you're, you're okay. This happens when I talk too long. <laughs> you're, you'll be okay. Here, why don't you go ski on it? Come on. Good catch, by the way. Good catch, he says. Want to let you know, the woman, you heard the applause. She's okay. Her name is Carmel Allison, and we have her on the phone to talk about what exactly happened. So, Carmel, how are you? I'm feeling much better now. Thank you. How long were you standing there? It wasn't actually that long. You know, I guess it was the, the 20 minutes of the talk, and we had come out right before the president. But, uh, you know, I'm just after... I'm 20 weeks pregnant at this point, and I hadn't had that much to drink that morning because I was worried about possibly needing to go to the bathroom during the speech, so I wanted to avoid that. And then just as the sun hit me, I got a little bit lightheaded, but uh, everything is okay now and back to normal. I'm glad to hear it. I know you and I were chatting briefly in commercial break. This is, this is your, your first little one, so congratulations, and uh, my goodness, Thank I guess you. you'll have a good story to tell down the <laughs> right. road. Um, you met me. the president. Exactly, exactly. So what happened once we see this woman come and take you, what, what happened next? Well, I mean, uh, you know, I just was taken back and taken, got the best care possible from the White House physicians, which, uh, <laughs> you know, now I get to say the ACA got me care by the White House medical professional. So I think I won that one. But, um, you know, I was just, it was an honor to be there. And I'm rather sorry I fainted in the middle of his speech, um, but I was really happy to be able to, you know, be there on stage at that moment and to be part of this amazing opportunity for us as Americans. Let's talk about um, that. The let's, ACA. Yes, let's talk about the reason you were there, because I read since you were, what, nine years of age, you have had type 1 diabetes, and so you've stayed on the same insurance plan, even though it's gotten increasingly expensive because of this pre-existing condition, and now with Obamacare, you feel like this is leveling the, the playing field, so to speak. Yeah, well, I mean, it's, you know, as I was diagnosed at the age of nine, and at the time I wasn't aware, but as I've aged and grown up, I've, it's become you know, it's an expensive disease to take care of. And if you don't have health care, it's, I mean, I don't understand how people would do it without health care. And I was lucky enough to be covered beforehand um, and have had continuing coverage. But there was always a fear in me that, you know, if I ever needed to move, if I ever needed to, you know, leave the current plan, that could be devastating financially. I mean, I, my husband and I might not be able to handle that. Um, and, you know, it might require me taking jobs that I didn't want to take just for health care or not being able to do what I want to do. Uh, and so, you know, for me, the moment when I went on, I guess, shortly after the websites opened and was able to just, you know, fill out, you know, three or four questions. It's a very short questionnaire. And just, you know, spend a moment thinking about, like, wow, I'm not actually looking to switch right now, but if I wanted to, this is how easy it would be. Um, and it really was a, an amazing moment that I was not expecting. I was more just curious to see what the website was like. But, so um, you were able to get in A-OK -okay because we heard the president today, you know, I mean, even he says he, he's the angriest of everyone for all these. <laughs> right. yeah, I don't think bleach is fully, fully covers it. But uh, what do you make of all the, the issues with this w website rollout? Well, you know, I spent many years as a software engineer and building websites is hard and building websites that get lots of uh, sudden traffic is hard, too. But that's just, you know, it's technical. That's logistics, and that's, as the president said, not what the health care law is about. So, okay. I mean, for me it was fine, and maybe it's just because I was in early October, so it was still just beginning at that point. But, um, you know, that's something that can be fixed, and if you've got the force of the president behind you, that's something that will be fixed quickly. Okay. So, uh, well, you know, I... I no, no, I'm just, I'm just so glad you're okay. Carmel, thank you so much for calling in. And like I said, you'll have a great story to tell uh, your, first, your first child. So, Carmel, thank you.